What's happening guys, my name is OTG and I'd like to welcome you back to Davillo's Journey. We are here at a very wet Austin, Texas. I apologise for any background noise, you might not hear it, but I can tell you it's absolutely tipping it down. There's my setup, it's rocketing it down outside, it's very loud, but uh, we continue on. Sixth qualifying position, very interesting race is going to be, pretty much uh, Ferraris have won the driver standings with Fernando Alonso, Sergio is battling for second place, and um, you've also then got the uh, Constructors' Championship, which is just completely done now, Ferrari have walked away with the championship, so the guys say let's go out and track, the interesting thing is whether it's going to go into wet, inters and hards, or will, will it just be wets, 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 or wets and inters, or will we go straight onto inters, just three laps after the race and then inters to drive for the whole for a, a long period of the race, but 100% race here in Austin, Texas, let's see how things go, it's wet, it's windy, we have five lights and we are away, Weber getting off to a good start, Fernando getting a worse start than Sergio De Villo, who actually had a po poor start as well, but Sergio now trying to take the racing line, Fernando taking an inside line, you can see Button and some Lotuses there, trying to get up, squeezing in between Sebastian Vettel and Mark Webber there, but he's got it pretty much done, he's up in the third place, now he's got the challenge of the Mercedes too, but you can see both of them run a little bit wide there on the track, getting into some wet air, uh, wet patches on the track, and they'll come into use later on in the race when you want to call them tires, but Sergio's actually having the first position, and the next bit of, info, uh, next bit of uh, action actually comes on lap. 15 when you can see Sergio struggling on these tyres you can see there's a little bit of problems Hamilton just breezes past and Vettel there just collides into the side pod a bit of a side pod glitch there but on later on to going on to lap 16 on this straight now Sergio using just over a bar of curves and you can see the rain is absolutely tipping it down out on the track and here where I am you can see up the inside now battling of his way through and Hamilton's been forced off the track just he could have avoided that but Alonso's up into second now but Hamilton gets past him Sergio at first calmly and collects enters the pits to try and avoid any form of contact. Now, what sort of time? You can just see the standing water. He enters onto the wet tyres. Bit of an interesting one. Maybe going on uh, inters if he would have stayed out a little bit longer. But he's gone for the wets. He has to go. Everyone else or the AI program to come in, so he might as well. 3.1 second pit stop. But you can see the standing water in the pit lane, so it's still very, very wet. Lean is going to go up into standard now. What a shocker! Some uh, some uh, back marking cars now. Some bit of a squabble going on there. Mid ranking cars all battling for 11th and maybe even a point if they're lucky, but you can just see there, Maldonado runs off and Hulkenberg gets past him, but on lap 19, a few cars, you can see uh, quite a few cars ahead haven't actually pitted yet, but they are continuing to push, and uh, Fernando Alonso is right behind him, and just going to see who's on, who's faster at the two, you can see he's now in the 7 gear, taking it nice and fast, he's got some leftover fuel, he's taking a racing line, but you can just see it's starting to calm down the weather conditions, Fernando gains on him, but he just doesn't look comfortable, look a little bit of back end, you can see the back end is just flying out on him, Fernando is pressurising him a lot, will he make a mistake though, he's holding it at the moment, but he needs to get his, uh, go as fast as possible and push as hard as, hard as he can, because ha Hamilton will be coming out of the pits and entering on the pits on this lap though. So now on lap 19, he's coming round now onto the final section of the track, so you can see him sticking up to the ridge, Hamilton sets the fastest lap of the race, but he's entered the pit, so that just really sums it up for you, pushing now, he's going to use some curves, he needs as much as he can, is there a car that he can just see behind a raindrop, there's a car, and that is the Mercedes, the Lewis Hamilton, he breaks into the corner, trying to get the cut back on him, as he takes that line, he's going to have better traction out of the corner, not much traction obviously in the wet conditions, but he does in fact get himself into first position, only just through that right hander which will go into the uh, Suzuka style corners which are really fun corners to drive now coming up to a lap car he sticks into lean mixture there's van der Garden he goes into the pits now going to be interesting what time he goes on to this stint will it be inters will it be dry as well coming in now he's sticking it onto intermediate tires a last minute decision there sticking onto the intermediate tires so Sergio thinking it's intermediate weather. Well, it's going to be a risky one indeed, but he's got a bit of a gap. No one else has entered the pits. Here comes his teammate now, and his teammate, in fact, has already pitted, and so is, I believe, the other drivers. And there we go. He's been jumped in the pit stops by his teammate, and that's just not the way he would have wanted it to go. So he's been jumped, and they've obviously pitted a little bit earlier for them intermediate tyres. You can see a bit of a train forming there. 
uh, onto lap 41. What sort of tyres are going to come into now? Is it going to be another set of intermediates? It's going to be intermediate indeed. So another set of inters. So they've gone from wet went into the inters. I would have possibly uh, maybe taken a risk and gone on prime, stayed out a little bit longer on these inters. But he's had to take it. He's got a podium at the moment, and that's really what he needs. He needs to continue this constructive battle and prove that he is worthy of a seat at one of the top teams. And he pushes, and you can see he's out into fifth position there. So there's a car Grosjean. I think he might be battling with Grosjean as he comes out ahead of both of them, uh, both McLarens and both Lotuses now. On lap 33, Lewis Hamilton struggling on these tyres, so he must not be enjoying them. And Hamilton's lost quite a substantial amount of time, but Alonso's pushing forward, and Hamilton there just gets taken past Sergio De Villo like he wasn't even active on the track. He just doesn't look interested, and Vettel now going to be the next man to get past as he comes through onto lap 44. Vettel quite a distance behind, and so is uh, Hamilton now, so pretty much wrapped up second position Sergio he comes in the pits what tyres he going to go for I think he's going to go on to some dry tyres here we go tyres will it be options primes inters won't be wet but he's gone on to option tyres so he's going for the options going to be an interesting choice there are the option tyres and out he goes for probably his last stop of the race but whereabouts he finishes well that's going to be the question but whereabouts he's going to come out he's pushing and he's waiting here comes a car I believe it's Sebastian Vettel there is Vettel Vettel whether or not he pitted we don't know, I believe Vettel has pitted, so that's why Vettel was so far behind. So, Sergio has in fact lost a position to Vettel now, and he was in second, he's now in third. So, the Red Bull driver saying, you know what, next season we're going to have a championship push, and we deserve to be in this race. And he's just trying to gain as much time, he's going to be on fresher options. You can see he's actually gained quite a bit of time on lap 52, he's on the final stint of this race now. We're coming to the end, he's got DRS, he's going to use Kerr's. When you get to this stage, you want to get past him at any point. There you go, using DRS now, taking the racing line, they're going to go side by side, Vettel defending well, but look at the traction, more grip, more traction, he stayed out later, and he's made it work, Sergio, and he's up in the second, no chance of first, if you look on the mini-map, yeah, Fernando's a long way ahead, and already Fernando Alonso has finished, Vettel will be just behind him, and so will I believe Nico Rosberg, so not a bad performance from him, he's not really been in this race at all, for the whole entire time, now coming through the final corner, he's got grip, I think he would have preferred it if it would have been a full dry race, but, you know, he's taking second, starting sixth, it's a good result, for them, but he would have liked to beat his team, be his team. and Nico Rosberg, you can see that in four position. So, question for the day is, guys, what is your favourite wet track to drive on? So, if it's a wet race, what would you like it to be? Me personally, I really enjoy having wet races on tracks such as Belgium. Belgium, I find to be fun on the wet. Um, Canada, I don't mind. Uh, I know there's a certain one, and I can't think of which one it is. You see the constructors and all that. But I'm just trying to think which is my wet track. It is Brazil. That's it. I love Brazil. So next race is Brazil, and we'll see what we can get. There you see them both celebrated. But guys, at this point, I would just like to say thank you for watching. My name is OTG. I will see you guys very, very shortly for more Formula One content in the near future. Bye, guys.